for connecting to the truth of people what do you need connection with yourself if you want to know somebody else you have to know yourself there's no other way if you if you try to know somebody else you will never know you can only see the physical form because you are watching everything through your senses that is only very superficial you will not know the truth aspect what is their frequency what is their orientation you will never understand unless you connect to yourself and we, what is the language Silence. feeling spend time with yourself start feeling more connect to yourself because you are you are very important for you to know the universe soul communicates with you through feelings you know to know to hear your soul what you need tell me one word silence, silence. silence. when you are silent what is silence actually with not talking no no thoughts please remember silence means zero thoughts how do you get zero thoughts what is creating thoughts in you desires desires is are creating thoughts inclinations you have certain inclinations you like that cake so inclination for the cake takes you to the table isn't it if you hate cake will you go there yeah so it's it's your inclination which is taking you to places isn't it so so all these things are connected to desires thoughts are connected to desire expressions are connected to desire you you tell uh, if you have a desire for a cake you say you tell dalila i'm i'm really waiting for your cake i need the cake so uh, then the next part is she hands over the cake to you and you are consuming that's completion first it was a thought i must have that cake before i go there everybody may eat it up so i must rush who tells you this desire tells you desire is pushing you go 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 if you if you if you are late it will be over then you tell dalila give me the cake so she hands over the cake that's the expression expression is you tell then the action is receiving it then you consume the cake what do you feel okay satisfaction how long <laughs> until the next cake so this is human life you know you are not permanently satisfied you cannot be permanently satisfied this is the same with relations same with positions same with all that you have earned when you have something you don't really value it when you lose it you value it you know i'll tell you one example this was this is a real example see there used to be a great master but uh, he was behaving like an ordinary man so not many people recognized him as a great master this is a true story and uh, uh, he had his some disciples and uh, uh, when he gets up in the morning he starts smoking so disciples decided that he gets up only to smoke otherwise he would not have got up from bed he gets up he searches for the cigarette and starts smoking and then until he sleeps he smokes and he was he was a very powerful master but nobody recognized him and uh, there are many stories but i'll tell you the last story one day after dinner he was sitting and the, and his people were sitting four or five of them and he said spread a white cloth here i'm going to die so they thought it's a joke he said you will not die you will only bore people and sit here and smoke you will never die so they never actually thought he serious so nobody did anything so he himself went inside he brought a white cloth and he spread it on the ground and he lied on the cloth he lied down and then he said call the ambulance take me to hospital then they said why are you creating this problem is the night and why don't you just die if you want to why you do? so so he said no no call the ambulance he insisted so they called the ambulance because his guru you have to obey call the ambulance and the ambulance came after an hour or so and until then he was lying down and talking to them and then they put him in the ambulance and they were taking and he, they were the disciples were sitting in the ambulance and he was explaining about the ashram how the how the land should be how the things should be where where things should be placed everything he explained and about 2 hour drive and he reached the hospital there is the hospital ambulance entered the hospital and he closed his eyes and when the doctor checked he said he died 4 4 hours ago so when he was talking to those people here he was already dead 
when he lied down on the cloth, he had already died. But he still communicated with the disciples and that completely destroyed all the disciples. They all felt so sad. They said, while living, we never recognized the Guru. While living, we, we thought he is a crazy man, he only smokes. But he gave full instruction about the whole thing, what they bought a land. Said what, how the land should be done, how, where things should be organized. Everything he explained before he le reached the hospital. Only when, the, when he entered the hospital, he left, he closed his eyes. And the doctor said he died four hours ago. You know, so sometimes realization comes much later because we don't connect to the truth of people. For connecting to the truth of people, what do you need? Connection with yourself. If you want to know somebody else, you have to know yourself. There's no other way. If you, if you try to know somebody else, you will never know. You can only see the physical form, the mannerism, the clothes they wear or how they behave. That's the only thing you will understand. Why? Because you are watching everything through your senses. Eyes, ears, nose, mouth, skin. That's how you are, you are knowing the world. That is only very superficial. That's superficial. You will not know the truth aspect. What is the person? From which level are they talking? What is their frequency? What is their orientation? You will never understand unless you connect to yourself. And we, what is the language? Feeling. That is why I told this story. Feelings are very important. You should feel yourself. Start feeling more. Spend time with yourself. Start feeling more. Connect to yourself because you are, you are very important for you to know the universe. You can know me as what? As Mohanji, this form or what I speak or all these things. But do you think this is me? This is only one aspect of me, what I'm expressing. But what is the real me to know? You need to know you. To know me completely, you can know me completely, but only after you know yourself. So is it the, the external factors that gives a, gives a flavor to life? Only partially, only on the level of sensory experience. It's not the external factors, it's the internal factors. If you connect to somebody externally, you will also leave that person. Have you seen people leaving a master? Why do they leave? They only connected superficially. They connected externally. Isn't it? When they connect externally, oh, another person walking, talking, eating, drinking, sleeping. But what is the operating consciousness? You will not understand until you know yourself. That's exactly what every major master guides you to. Everybody who walks the path of truth guides you to be you so that you can know everything. Not just the person, the personality or the consciousness. Even you can understand or know the past, the present and the future. I repeat, it's not just the personality or the person or even the consciousness. You can also understand the past, why something happened, the present, why it's happening and the future, how it can evolve. All these things you can know. Naturally. Not because somebody tells you. Nobody need to tell you. Even if somebody tells you, do you think you will understand? But if you know, if you feel, if you are aware, nobody need to tell you anything. Truth is revealed to you. If truth is not understood, crucifixion happens. You see? When the society does not understand truth, what happens? Annihilation, destroying. I don't understand this. I don't want to see it on the face of earth. That's it. Isn't it? Like Hitler said, I make men in my own image or I destroy them. You know, that is superficial. The superficial image means somebody who agrees with me. If you disagree with me, finished. You're out. That is how the society functions. That is why we have one billion animals slaughtered every year. Because we don't see them. We don't feel them. We don't understand their vibrations. We don't understand their value on earth. We don't even understand how interconnected we are with all these species, plants, trees, earth, everything. We have all of these things inside us. 
we are not just just like fallen from the sky even though the story says the stork brought you to earth <laughs> you know it's not like that we have come here to know ourselves and this life is precious life is very precious use this life fully well so that you don't you don't need to take any more lives i repeat use this life completely so that you don't have to come back you don't need to take any more lives is it is it worthwhile you can take a life like when the story says when krishna took birth many of the dissolved masters also took birth just to assist the avatar that's a that's a nice birth some of them came as calves and cows and grass even grass where krishna was walking just to aid the help the avatar that happens when whenever a master happens you will see many people <coughs> getting connected and serving the master or the avatar because that's part of their mission what is your priority of life if the priority of your life is liberation then it has to align with your action the action should align with that priority liberation Thank you.